Hi again, welcome to my kitchen and welcome to my what my channel whattocook.com. Today I'm going to show you how how I my mom showed me how to make um some homemade bread. It's a it's a lot it's a lengthy process, but you know I love fresh um, homemade bread, you know. So I thought I would share this with you and hope you enjoy it. Let's get to it. Okay, I already have my bowl all set up. I have four cups of flour in in my bowl. Um, I normally I would yield about four good sized bread with this recipe. So that's four cups of flour. And I have two tablespoons of brown sugar. I use this instant yeast. Just add the whole pack to my mixture. Alright, I added um, one teaspoon of salt. And now I'm going to add um, three, ta three tablespoons of butter. All right. So the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to mix up the, make sure the butter is nicely mended up into with the flour. I hope you could see that. I do this process before I add any water. So now that the um, butter is nicely melted, blended in with the flour, I'm going to add some warm water. I just put some water in my measuring cup. Put it in the microwave for about 5-50 seconds. And that's it. Just gradually add warm water. The warm water is basically to bring the yeast into effect faster. If you put the water too too hot, of course you put it you put in your hand into hot water and you know if you don't want it too hot you'll burn your hands. Make sense? Alright so Making bread is, is basically when you have like time and today is Sunday and I have a pie in the oven right now. So what I will do, it might not work out rightly, but if you like baking anything, um, like for lunch, you probably could do your, your bread one time. So you put everything in the oven because baking bread takes a lot of time. You have to let it do, do, do rest and then you heat it up, put it in your pan, let that, that rise. So that takes some time. Let me finish this and I'll be right back. So basically I'm adding enough water until all the dry flour is melted in together. And the trick you find that the moist flour is um, sticking up in your hand too much, put some dry flour into your hands rub your hands together and you'll remove all the excess moist flour from your hands. Okay, it's coming nice and together. The texture of my dough is nice and soft, just like how I like it. I have a small bit in the pot here to use up. I'm going to use up that excess flour. I'm going to put a small bit of water just to capture that. Flour is not all together. All the flour is used up. So I'm going to wrap the dish for a little while and I'll come back to it. Let me just show you the stick. I have some dry flour in my hand. I'll just rub my hand together to remove all the excess flour. All the dry flour from my hands. Move all the 
the noise floor for my hands. See? All right. After about 10 minutes, I'm going to check my flour, knead it again. I think I'll sprinkle some flour on the top. Nice and like this. Okay, so you see my dough is nice and smooth. That's what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna let it rest for like about 15 minutes. I'm, I'm gonna come back again and I'm trying to try section it so check section it off for each loaf of bread. Um, by that time, by that 15 minutes, the flour should have risen a little bit. Okay, I'm almost ready. Ready. The next step, I have my baking pan. One of them, I'm going to grease it. But um, you could use butter, but I have my palm spray, non-stick non non spray. I'm going to just want to spray the pan with this. And just let's put my... I do into that. I should really get three bread loaves from this this recipe. Okay, my pans are ready. I'm gonna work on the bread. Okay, here we go. The dough is nice. It's starting to rise. Looking good. So I'm gonna separate it into three bowls. So I can get my three loaves of bread. I'm separating the three equal pieces, so equal as I can. Alright, that looks like three. So I'm gonna too much. So let me just need I'm gonna need a little extra flour for this process. This one's a little small, but I'll leave it a little longer for it to raise nicely. Alright. So now that I have my... Let me show what I do next. I have one dough here. What I will do, I roll it like this. It's going like that. I don't worry about the shape, don't be too particular. Um, when you put it in the pan, it's going to rise and fill up the whole pan. So I'm going to take this piece of dough, rest it in my big pan, and let that rise. Okay, I'll do the rest and I'll show you what it looks like. And then I'll leave it, leave it let it totally rise and fill the pan. I ready my bacon pan. I, these are my bacon pans with my um, bread rolls rolled out and everything. So I'm going to leave that for like a little while. Let them rise and fill the pan. I'll be back to show you how it looks when it has risen before it is cooked. Okay, lovely. My bread has risen nicely. I'm going to put my oven to hot at 350 degrees and then put them in. My bread is all done, almost fell asleep. Making the waiting for the bread to not get nice and brown. So it's all done. Give it a try, let me know what you think. Alright, homemade bread. This is recipe was given to me by my, my mom. This is how she normally makes it when we um go to home and turn it out. The next recipe I'm gonna try this sweet bread. I haven't done that for a while, but I'll try the sweet bread. I'll post it on my channel for you to take a look.